Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry and I want to tell you a story. Every morning I come up here and I'm excited to share these stories. Today's story was so good, I almost shared it yesterday. Like I was going to record it immediately. And I was like, no, 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 wait till the morning. Anyway, my granddaughter teaches me many things. Um, we were riding to school and we ride and we listen to music and she talks to me about what she sees and she talks to me about things she's, a, you know, like making observations about conclusions that she draws. Like yesterday, she realized that when closest cars were too close, accidents could happen. And, and this is, she said, it's disgusting. It's disgusting the way they're doing this. And I was like, yeah, it's very, very dangerous. What should we do, Googie? I said, well, let's pray for them and make sure they get there safe. She's like, but what about us? And I was like, it'd be all right. So we get to school. And I pull out her reading books and her teacher has moved her up a new level. And so, you know, it's going to be a little bit more challenging for her. So we're reading this book and, you know, when we get done with her reading and the last book she could kind of breeze through, she can watch something. So we can watch an episode of Paw Patrols, Patrols, not a whole episode, a few minutes of it and sometimes a few minutes of a movie. But she wants to watch something because we don't really do television um, during the week. So anyway, she wanted to get through these new books. And I said, no, these are going to take a little bit more time because it's a new level and it's new work. And when Elena doesn't want to do something, like most children, like many adults, she starts her, I'm tired. She, sometimes kids have to stretch. I'm just tired. I'm so tired, Cookie. She started stretching. And then she starts using a little voice when, you know, like, you're like, no, if you want to do, if you want to watch something, you're going to have to do this. So she started talking in a voice that was like, ah, blah, 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 blah. I was like, that voice is not working. And then she goes into tears. She's just so sad. She's so sad. She's so sad because she's tired and I can't. So yesterday I looked in her eyes and I said, Elena, she said, yes. I said, no, I'm trying to find Elena. I know she's in there. Yes, Googie. And I said, I know something about you. I know that you're smart, but you keep trying to act like you're not because you just want to play. And you get to play, but you have to do the work first. Yes, Googie. I said, uh-uh, where's Elena? She said, yes. I said, do you understand what I'm saying? I see you. I know you're smarter than this. And then my mother's phrase came back to me. Stop playing dumb. I heard my mother saying that to me when I was a child. Stop playing dumb. Stop playing as if you're dumb so you can get away with not doing what you know you're smart enough to do. And you play it long enough that you come to believe that you are. Stop playing dumb. She looked like that. And I said, do you understand? Do you have it? You got it? And she, whenever I say got it, she answers me back in kind of a British accent. She goes, got it. So she looked at me. She said, got it, Googie. She took that book from my hand and just read it. And I was like, whoo. And you're supposed to sign off on them. And I said, I'm not going to sign it. I'm going to wait until I know we have it several times. Because at that time, it was time for her to go into school. I said, I'll wait. Well, she came home from school. And I said, well, did you let the teacher know that I didn't sign? We, we want to read them again. She said, no, I read for the teacher. And I said, what? She said, I said, what did the teacher say? She said, excellent. And I was like, Elena, come on. I ran and looked in the envelope where the books are. And not only did she say excellent, she put a sticker there that said excellent and gave Elena two new books. All yesterday, I was thinking about my mother's phrase, thinking about playing dumb. We play dumb so much that we've made up phrases like unconscious bias. We're unconscious. I, I didn't know. I'm unconscious. I, I didn't. I was unconscious. Stop playing dumb. We are all privileged enough to get an education and then so privileged to choose what you want to be educated in. 
leaving out parts that you don't want to deal with because you just want to play. As I told my granddaughter yesterday, Googie worked very, 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 very hard. So we all get to do what we need to do, what we're purposed to do, what we're called to do. Stop playing dumb. I love you.